I just flipped the narrative with the new Neo 2, and trust me, this one's far from just another refresh. We're talking serious upgrades, extended range, pro-level controls, and a modular upgrade path that transforms this compact drone into something built for creators who demand more. Instead of keeping things static, the drone maker went bold, launching a detachable external transceiver module that plugs into a USB-C port on the rear of the drone. That plug-in design isn't just a novelty, it's a game changer for the Neo 2. By adding this module, you unlock high performance connectivity, so you get far greater range, ultra low latency, and rock solid video link transmission compared with the typical built-in Wi-Fi setup. Suddenly pilots can pair the Neo 2 with high-end remotes, motion controllers, and even goggles, elevating what a lightweight drone can do. What's brilliant here is the modular upgrade path. You're not locked into a fixed upper tier model. You can bolt on serious upgrades and keep the drone lightweight, travel friendly, and budget smart. For under perhaps $250, you get pro-level features like gesture and voice control, extended flight time, and direct charging on a sub 250G frame. If you're a travel friendly creator, vlogger, solo adventurer, this might just be your next must have gadget. Before we dive in, make sure you subscribe, smash that like button, and drop your first reactions in the comments. I want to hear what you think about this sleek next-gen drone release. All right, now let's break it down in detail. The Neo 2 is purpose-built for solo travelers, vloggers, beginners wanting cinematic shots without lugging heavy hardware. It retains ultra-portable DNA, weighing about 135 grind, yet it feels far more capable than its predecessor. From leaked images and early insider info, the design remains familiar yet refined. The biggest visual upgrade is the addition of omnidirectional sensors on both front and rear, dramatically improving obstacle detection and stability. On the front, you'll now see new sensors embedded in the shell, an upgrade over the original model's limited detection system. On the rear, the digital transmission receiver and antenna layout have been reworked, aligned with the detachable module to support the upgraded connectivity tech. For a drone this light, the sensors are more likely advanced optical or infrared units rather than full LiDAR, but they still bring a higher level of environmental awareness, making the Neo 2 safer and smarter in flight even through complex scenarios. The second the transceiver module clicks in, the Neo 2 opens up FPV-style connectivity. You're no longer tethered to standard Wi-Fi. With OcuSync, you benefit from stronger signal resilience, less interference, and real-time control that's responsive enough for motion controllers or goggles. So this compact form factor now punches above its weight, offering features more common and larger. Heavier drones built for professionals. Moving on to optics and capture capability, the Neo 2 takes a big leap in video performance. It records in 4K at 60 FPS, doubling the frame rate of the original model, and adds 10-bit HDR and D-Log-M color profiles, enabling richer colors, greater dynamic range, and footage that holds up in post-production. At the heart is a 11.3 CMO sensor delivering Tarzan 13.5 EV stops of dynamic range. That means crisp details across shadows and highlights, even in challenging light. The gimbal has also moved from a single axis to a dual axis stabilization system, giving noticeably smoother footage and better handling of shake and movement. Pair that with intelligent features such as auto return to home, object tracking, gesture and voice control, and you're looking at a drone with serious creative potential. Battery life steps up too. You're looking at up to roughly 19 minutes of flight time on a full charge, still within the ultra lightweight class. Bonus, direct charging via USB-C means no bulky external hub required, more convenient for travel and on-the-go usage. When it comes to pricing and bundle options, the structure looks refreshingly simple and accessible. There's likely a fly solo option at around 229, a creator combo at 299, FPV starter pack at 399, and a fly more kit at around 449. Because the drone stays under 249 degree, it sidesteps many registration requirements in several regions. Ideal for travelers and hobbyists who'd rather fly than paperwork. Launch date is set for October 30th and the buzz is real. The Neo 2 could easily become one of the most value-packed drones of 2025. So now I pass it to you. Will you be picking up the Neo 2 when it drops? Or are you already flying something else? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, hit like, subscribe for more in-depth tech reviews, drone comparisons, and future-ready gear breakdowns. Stay tuned for more updates on upgrades, accessories, and how to get the most out of this compact powerhouse.